All right, time for sports. Uh, Jordan's in for Meyer tonight. Jordan. Hudson, thank you. More on an amazing uh, feat from Steve Nash in a moment, but we start with an amazing feat by one of Nash's biggest fans. Two weeks ago, we told you about Adam Henkel, a Victoria cabinet maker who entered Vitamin Water Canada's video contest entitled, Are You Nash Enough? Now, Adam's entry was every bit Nash enough. Voters got their say on the Vitamin Water website, naming Adam and another entrant from Surrey as co-winners. And today, he learned he's off to Phoenix to shoot a commercial with Steve. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I never, never would have thought, even, even three months ago before I made the video, I never even would have thought that you know, this opportunity would be there for me. So I'm, I'm really grateful to Vitamin Water and Steve for doing it. Facebook has been just wild, like tons and tons of messages and uh, congratulations and stuff like that from friends and family. So in late February, Vitamin Water flies Adam and his family to Phoenix for three nights during his son's homestand. Now, Adam has never met Nash, let alone shot a commercial. So what do you say to the basketball god you've been idolizing your whole life? I have no idea what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Steve, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's just been cool to see, you know, a huge group of people rally together for one cause. And, um, yeah, it was, it was amazing to be a part of it and to be really at the center of it. So it's kind of a different experience. Way to go, Adam. In five days, Steve Nash will celebrate his 38th birthday. At an age when most point guards are selling cars or donning the TV analyst suit and tie, Nash continues to defy the odds. Last night's 30 points and 10 assists not only added to his league-leading assist total, it also set a son's record. First, though, let's show you this. A fresh-faced Nash delivering his first career assist to Danny Manning back in 96. Love the hair. He's had a few since then. Uh, a few different looks, too. Check out the Nash of yesteryear. Compared to the Nash of last night in New Orleans, Steve Nash became the Phoenix Suns' all-time leader in assists on this bucket right here by Josh Childress. That's 6,522 assists in a Suns uni, passing KJ, Kevin Johnson. Congratulations, Steve, uh, Steve Nash. Suns are in Houston tomorrow. Thanks to a revamped playoff format, the bubble is a terrifying place to be in the BCHL. That's exactly where the Nanaimo Clippers sit in the standings with just 16 games to play. And with five points separating them from fourth and the final playoff spot, the wins have got to come now. And that's not to say the Clips aren't playing some good hockey lately. Mike Vandekamp's team is 4-1 and one in their last five games and is rounding into form quite nicely. Tomorrow night, they host the conference-leading Powell River Kings, and the young man leading them into battle is 20-year-old defenseman Graham McCormick. McCormack is a career Clipper and was expected to provide leadership on this group. He wasn't expected, though, to lead the team in scoring with 47 points in 44 games. Well, we knew he'd have a good season offensively. Um, you know, I, I guess it's not always a good thing to have a defenseman leading your team in scoring. It'd be nice if some of the forwards would uh, take that away from him, but uh, obviously he's had a really good season so far. Kind of a kind of goal of mine uh, coming into the season. It's definitely nice. I've been uh, been a little bit cold the last, the last bit. I've been in a bit of a slump, but hopefully you get out of it and put some more points up on the board. The puck drops tomorrow at Frank Crane Arena at 7 o'clock. The Clippers and Kings recently swung a trade that saw Teal Burns ship to PR, so it's a homecoming for him. McCormick, though, feels very much at home on the Clipper blue line, and why not? Nanaimo has produced top-tier talent in the past few years. Jason Garrison is one of the top offensive D-men in the NHL, and Matt Irwin is an American League All-Star. All of this not lost on Graham. My billets, uh, Wendy and Terry, had uh, Jason Garrison in the house, and so they uh, they have him on TV and whenever the Panthers are playing, and, and we watch them all the time. So um, there's definitely some really great D that came out of here, guys that are in college right now and guys that are in the NHL, and you really want to continue on that tradition and, and be part of something. I think that's a motivation to all the players in our league that, uh, you know, you just got to take that step in stone. Uh, most of the time it's to college hockey and then continue to develop from there, and and yeah, you know, you have a chance. So um, I think for a guy like Graham, it's on the horizon for him. He's going to a good school next year at Bemidji and playing in a good league. And if he keeps developing, he'll, he'll, have, a sh he'll have a chance. The Alberni Valley Bulldogs, though, are playing for next year. Disappointing year in the dog pound as PA is in trail tonight to face the Smokies. Good news, though, trail is ripe for the pick in. The Smoke Eaters have the worst record in the BCHL. Josh Mitchell leads the dog in scoring with 33 points.